verse 14 to 15, we read, Jesus appointed twelve, whom he called apostles, to be with him, and to be sent out to preach, and to have authority to drive out demons. Dear fathers, deacons, brothers, thank you, student council, for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with deacons. I will try to be very short. <laughs> Dear deacons, you were here and still you are here. <laughs> and after having completed your formal studies and formation, you are venturing into the promised line of your ministry. Remember, you are human beings, but the beauty of it is that each of you is touched by the Lord. Human frailties will be there. Failures are bound to come. Discouragement will fall upon you. But be righteous. Be brave. Because each one of you is equipped with the knowledge to both handle the pleasant and unpleasant situations in the mission and in your life. Once a CEO of a successful company was about to retire, it was time for him to leave the office. But he did not want his son to be his successor. And therefore he decided to choose one of the young executives for the top job. He called the young executives and told them that exactly after one year he would choose one of them and announced the name, the name of next CEO. But CEO said to young executives, I am giving you, each one of you, a special seed. Every one of them is different. All that you need to do is to grow it. And after a year, I want to see the plants. All of them were given the seeds, and they took it gladly. All of them planted, watered, and took care. Bill, one of the young executives, he too took the seed and told his wife everything. Exactly after a year, all of them brought plants. Some were beautiful and some were very colorful. On that particular day, Bill did not want to come for the meeting because he was ashamed, frustrated, and disappointed for what he planted did not come up. But then his wife insisted and said, you must be honest and take this empty pot. So then he took the courage, brought the empty pot, and together with all other pots, which were colorful, beautiful, 
he get the empty pot. The CEO he came, looked at all the pots. And then he called all the young executives and said, the next CEO is Bill. And one of them immediately retorted and said, but he could not grow the plant that you had given me. And then the CEO replied and said, I have given all of you boiled seed which cannot be grown, but all of you changed and planted it. And then he said, to be successful in life, you have to learn and do this. If you plant the seed of honesty, you will reap the harvest of trust. If you plant the seed of honesty, you will reap the harvest of trust. Dear deacons, my advice and exhortation to you is only this. You are given the seed of honesty, hard work, knowledge, knowledge of sacred scripture, of dogma, and the teachings of the magisterium. Be honest and be faithful to it. Our late President Abdul Kalam on March 5th, 2018, while addressing the European parliamentarians, he said, of course, the boy's name I am not daring to pronounce for the simple reason that I cannot pronounce the Tamil words. But all what he said is this. Where there is righteousness in the heart, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. When there is an order in the nation, there is peace in the world. You are going to serve the people. You are going to be in the field with the struggles and pains of the people. Let the people with whom you work and for whom you work, let them see in you and in your action purity of heart and purity of mind and then you will be successful pastors. The greatest challenge perhaps or one of the greatest challenges that you would be facing is this. You want to be you but everybody else wants you somebody. And the world tries to make you somebody and not you. And you are already, but not yet, you are priest of the Lord, priest of the church, priest for the people. Be that. Remain faithful. Remain honest. And you will reap the harvest of trust 
confidence and success. I wish that you remember all, in fact, in my classes, I was telling you repeatedly this. You have only one apostolate, that is, to bear witness to your priestly consecration. Be with him. And you have only one apostolic activity, to build the community with love, compassion, and fidelity. I wish that you love your priestly life. Be compassionate to the people with whom and for whom you will work and remain ever grateful to God, be faithful to Him. May God bless each one of you. Thank you.